Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer. You know, people tell me they don't like my salads because they're too dry. It's something that needs addressing. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Kingdom Rush Elemental Uprising from Lucky Duck Games. Kingdom Rush Elemental Uprising is the latest iteration of the Kingdom Rush game, which originally came to us in app form. Now, in this uh, particular game, it's a tower defense. You're going to go ahead and kind of create the best defense as the evil guys are coming through it. You're going to try to stop them and bring peace to the kingdom. Now, the game board is made out of tiles. You're going to construct different tiles based on the scenarios within the rulebook. You're going to go ahead and set up these scenarios, and uh, they're giant, of course, squares. It looks very much, the aesthetic here looks very much like the app. You're going to go ahead and set those uh, boards up. You're also going to set kind of spawn points around where the enemies are going to, going to spawn from. Each player is also going to take their own kind of hero sheet, their hero mini, and uh, various other cards and uh, abilities and tokens and what have you. And then you're also going to place a number, depending on the scenario, you're going to place a number of health tokens just off to the side. And for every bad guy that gets through, you're going to lose some of that health. Now, the first thing you do every turn is spawn new hordes. Essentially, you have these little trays. You're going to place the cards in them, and that shows where all of the various uh, uh, evil critters and animals and other dudes are going to spawn or are going to exist that are going to kind of move through your uh, the trail here through the kingdom. So you're going to go ahead and put those on the board next to where they spawn from. Now, with this scenario set up, there will be different transparencies and different colors, different uh, uh, icons for the different players. You're going to set those up around the board. So after you've spawned, you're going to go ahead and you're going to be able to play a card. Now, these cards are different towers. They are either soldiers or non-soldier uh, kind of defensive works. But like I said, they're going to be shooting arrows or launching dudes. You go ahead and you can set those up in the various places where your transparency color exists. Instead of playing a card, you can actually pass a card to another player. You think it might help them better in the location where they're located. Or you can also, instead of playing one of your cards, you can activate your hero. Your hero can uh, appear on the board, and he can also wreak a terrible vengeance upon the invaders. Now, the next thing you do is essentially you attack the horde trays. From your various towers that you've set up, you can go ahead and shoot at the, or, or attack, the various invaders. You go ahead, you can take various kinds of damage that you have. You know, arrow damage, physical damage, magic damage, fire damage, all the different kinds of damage, and they're little kind of, you know, Tetris shapes. And you go ahead and you can place those on the uh, boards to kind of take out those number of enemies. You can also activate your own character, put him on the board or her, and activate their special abilities to knock out several other spaces of enemies on those trays. Next, you're going to advance the horde trays. Essentially, you're going to start moving the trays one space toward the exit. Now, if you succeed in destroying any of the villain trays, you actually can go ahead, remove all the damage, put it back in the supply, and then look at the back of that card, and it will tell you what you gain. You can either gain the crystals or the gold. Now, after the trays have advanced, uh, the players, they pick up all of their cards or their heroes. They take them back uh, to their play area. Now, the last thing you do during a round is you can actually spend crystals to buy more cards that you can play, more powerful cards that you can play, or you can also buy, uh, use the gold to buy mods, special kind of stickers that you put on uh, the towers that give them special abilities. So each turn plays out that way. You're spawning the various monster trays. You are activating your cards. You are playing cards and activating your heroes. You are firing and trying to destroy as many of the critters on those uh, trays as you can. You are advancing the trays. You are collecting all your stuff back. And you are spending your goods on more powerful cards and mods for your trays. Now, if ever the monsters get enough of their people through the end of the pathway, 
that it takes away all of your health, then you immediately lose. Certain scenario rules may trigger an end game, may trigger win-lose conditions, but all things being equal, if you are able to weather the storm and defeat all of the trays before they take all of your health and there's no tr spawn trays left, then you win! Kingdom Rush, Elemental Uprising. So uh, I was a big fan of the app. I used to play the app uh, a lot when it first came out. I, was, I had a lot of fun with it. And as I say, it's kind of fun seeing the aesthetic of the game transported to this uh, board game here. Now, this is a pretty big size game, and there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of other kind of exceptions and special rules and stuff that come up with scenarios that I'm not really getting into. Um, I told you the basics of gameplay, but just know there's, there's more to it than that, right? I'm just giving you the basics here. Uh, the game is, it, as a tower defense game, it's very interesting, and it feels, you know, it is true to the app. Uh, obviously, it's not a direct port of the app. You couldn't really do that from, from a digital platform to an analog one. But it, it's kind of faithful in the way it approaches the material, and I really appreciate that. Appreciated that. It's a beautiful game. You've got a lot of great tokens. All the heroes have got tokens. You've got some of the monsters have some pretty bad A, bad a tokens, bad A minis. Uh, so there is some uh, just great aesthetics here. Art, great. Everything's great on that end. It, it's perfect. Uh, the game does suffer from a little something I like to call token, token overload. overload. There are a lot of tokens here. There are a lot of tokens. In fact, there are... Um, like I said, there are tokens for the different kinds of damage you can inflict, and there's a ton of them, just an absolute ton of these other tokens. So um, just know that. And it's kind of one of those things where you kind of have to struggle a little bit to try to get everything in the box, and it does fit, and you can do it without muffin topping, but you got to make sure you get everything in there just right. The game also comes with like a glossary. It's got kind of a um, tutorial book to, to, for your first game here, so you can learn it fairly easy. Um, there's a lot of just stuff in the game, but it is one of those games where, you know, the, the game itself isn't terribly long. You know, you're looking maybe, you know, hour, hour and a half per game. But having said that, there's there's a good amount of setup and takedown um, with all of that stuff. It's not horrible, but just know that there is some setup and takedown here. Um, the game is fun. You know, it's fun going ahead and seeing those guys come toward you, and especially when you're playing with other players and you're trying to coordinate your defense and how you, you're negotiating your defense. Okay, I can do this. What can you do? I can do this. And I really like that. That's one of my favorite things in games is when you can kind of negotiate in a cooperative game like this working together. Um, it, it's a good cooperative experience, right? It's not like a, it doesn't feel just like a, you know, cooperative solitaire or something. You, you do feel like there's a lot of interaction here when you're trying to decide how you're going to play that. I like the characters and I like the special abilities that the characters bring into the game. It's just a little spice and sugar. And again, minis, minis look great here. Well, so I, I like this game. I had fun with it. I'm, I'm kind of getting to a point where, like I say, less is more. So I don't know if, if all the stuff here... I don't know if this is one that's going to stay in my collection. I mean, I don't know. I'll probably play it some more. We'll see what happens. I may end up donating it here eventually. Uh, I like the game. I think most people will. If you like tower defense, I think this is about as good as any tower defense game I've played. Um, but like I said, there are some caveats there. I'm going to say I'm going to say try it before you buy it. Very positive try it before you buy it. If you do like tower defense, you're willing to put the time into it. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Thank you once again for joining us today on the Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on the discriminatinggamer.com. We'd ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. I'd also ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to please check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we take a look at military history, books on history, fun things like that. I even post some of my own lectures on that channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would uh, check that channel out and subscribe. And uh, also, please like this video on Board Game Geek. And also, too, ladies and gentlemen, if you really enjoy the content we bring to you here, I'd humbly ask you to click on the Super Thanks button and leave a tip. How did the pancake lose his kingdom? He was you syruped. You know, there is nothing more important than the people. Ah! Sean! Why? You knew what I was when you asked.
asked me to review board games with you. You want to go review a board game right now? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay.